Hello everybody, this is Blue Luigi here, and I'm going to be talking to you guys about injecting a ROM into a virtual console watch file. Now let's begin by checking out Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Now, as you can see, I have two channels of Street Fighter 2 Turbo. One that says Street Fighter 2 Turbo, and the other that says TMNT4, Turtles in Time. Yeah. So, let's go to the first one, which would be the one that says Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Now we hit start. And yet, yeah, it says that you need a classic controller, of course. Although you could also use the game controller. And there's Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Which is the game on that channel icon. using the classic controller. I've been using the GameCube controller most of the time, but pretty much I want to use the classic controller mostly because of how, mostly because of how you play like Super Nintendo games and stuff like that. It's, I mean, it's just recently that I got a classic controller, so pretty much I'm not exactly, pretty much I was more used to the GameCube controllers of M. Bison. Anyway, so you know that I have Street Fighter 2 Turbo, of course, you could probably of course, you probably did think that when you saw the channel icon. But what's... Why does the other channel icon say TMNT4? Well, we're gonna check it out right now. You need the classic controller, of course. And... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! So you see, this isn't Street Fighter 2 Turbo, this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. Starring... Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael, Leonardo. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. Yep, that's right. I got that game installed on Virtual Console. This is April O'Neil reporting. Big Apple, 3 a.m. Seriously, I love this game. And this game isn't even out on Virtual Console. So you're probably wondering how I got it into a, into a Virtual Console. There's the Wii menu, and it shows that this game that I downloaded, I didn't edit this. I actually did put this on the Virtual Console, and I will show you how you inject a, how you inject a Virtual Console game into a Virtual Console wad on the next video, so stay tuned.